Hey guys, and welcome to Hospice. It's disturbing at first. You might be shocked when you first see her. I still cry every day when I go. You know, she swallowed water two days ago, so I'm not giving up hope yet. Before all this, she'd always perk up when you come visit. I have this feeling that she's going to hear your voice and just wake up. She loves you so much. Hey, Mom. We're here. It's me, your daughter. Your granddaughter's here, too. She just flew in. Go ahead. Talk to her. Hey, Grandma. Get closer. Okay. Well, let's talk. I brought you this stuffed koala. I thought maybe you'd like to hold something soft. It's kind of like a pet, right? Does it feel nice? Okay, let's, uh, let's talk some more then. Don't you miss the slot machines? You've been going to play the penny slots every day, right? Mom says you're very lucky. How are we supposed to win the jackpot without you? If you wake up, we can all go together, okay? I guess we'll keep talking. You must be dreaming, right? What kind of dream is it? It should be a nice one, right? You know, sometimes you can tell you're dreaming, and you can do whatever you want. You can fly, or make things happen. Maybe you can give it a try. Let's talk some more then. I was looking through your papers. I didn't know you got a degree in cosmetology. Is that why you always complained about my eyebrows? Why don't you wake up and tell me about it? I'd love to hear about why you went to school and what you liked about it. I'd love to hear anything. Oh, man. Okay. You remember that time you took me biking? I was really young, and no one would let me ride my bike by myself. So you walked with me when I would ride. But this one time, I forgot my helmet. We just kept going. Why did you let me do that? Then, just as I was going downhill, you said something, so I turned around and lost control. I should have gotten really hurt. I wasn't that athletic. But instead, just as the bike hit the bottom of the hill, I jumped off. And I did this front roll on the street, and I was barely scratched. Wasn't that a crazy time? We can still keep talking. Okay. Alright. I guess we'll lean back then. Let me know when you're ready to go. Oh. Okay, hold on. Everyone's coming to visit you. Your other granddaughter is coming this weekend. And your great-grandson is coming too. Wanna be nice to see everyone? I heard you left your car to me in your will. Uh, that was really sweet of you. I think I was 15 when you made it, so you must have been worried about me. Uh, of course, you've outlived your car by many years now. That's okay. I don't need money or things. You don't have to worry about me. I'm doing good. I tried to bring Scrabble so we could play it here. You know, I thought maybe if you heard us talking and having fun, you might like that. But guess what? All the tiles are missing from the box. Something always goes wrong, doesn't it? Your birthday's coming up soon. 
You're going to be... 96? That's amazing. Let's go out to eat on your birthday, okay? We can get sushi. Won't that be nice? I guess we're ready to leave then. What do you think? Uh, she can hear us. I don't have any rational reason to believe that, but I do. She held me when I was a baby. She took care of me every day for most of my life. And if there's any chance at all that I can help her now, I will. Yes, I think she can hear us too. The most important thing is that we all love each other. <laughs>